a job at the end of the world. I work security at protecting men from the dangers they cannot see. There's not a second goes by when I'm not thinking of you in some way. Going home, guys. Let's keep it moving. We have a new Liam Neeson movie coming out called The Grey. I thought it was starring Anthony Hopkins and Alec Baldwin. No. And their plane goes down and they no. have to survive in Liam the woods. Liam Neeson. Oh, that was The Edge. I'm yeah. sorry, I'm sorry. Continue. Yeah. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> well, apparently, as Liam Neeson is becoming the action star of to the two 2010s, and what I was guess? your defense of that statement? Well, let's see. The last four movies that Liam Neeson's done, uh, at least four major films that Liam Neeson's done, have been action movies. Like what? Taken, where uh, his daughter, played by. Um, I'm not challenging. No, you. I, I just no, no, literally no, no, no. Don't know. Uh, Maggie, what's her face? From Lost. Why am I blanking on her last name? I don't know. But uh, Taken. Maggie Grace. Taken, she, the revenge her, film that was apparently a lot better than Mel Gibson's revenge film that year. True, because I think Liam Neeson really carried that film. I mean, the film itself was not fantastic, but Liam Neeson in the movie, very good. Um, and then he did something very similar. Uh, almost similar, called Unknown, where he lost his memory, and he had to then fight, kind of do like a Bo Jason Bourne type thing, trying to get his memory back. Um, and then, I think, in, actually in between uh, Taken and Unknown, he did the A-Team. Forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the old white guy with yeah. the cigar, okay, He's okay. become basically, his, his 2010 genre is the action film. You know, which is funny, when you think Liam Neeson, you think of like, you know, Schindler's List or yeah. something like that. You know, these big dramatic films that requires classy, classy British actor. And acting, and acting prowess of monumental capacity. Yeah. Um, but, you know, but he brings all of that to now action films, which I think is good. I mean, it doesn't, just because it's an action film does not mean you have to have bad actors. I think in five years, Daniel Day-Lewis should be our new old action star. True, but Daniel Day-Lewis is also semi-retired. He's like, he's a semi-retired guy. Thinks he is, every single fucking film for the last 20 years. Yeah, but he only comes out, he only does a film like once a year. Well, yeah. But I'm just saying, retirement, the, the, if he says retirement one more time, I'm gonna bitch slap him. Uh, Liam Neeson's plane goes down. Um, he um, he keeps the, opens with a oh, monologue, uh, voiceover monologue about his the woman he's in love with, which I, I caught a, it's, you get very small glimpses of it. it looked like, to me, the woman looked like Amy Brenneman. I don't know if it actually is Amy Brenneman, but, um, and then his plane goes down in the Arctic, and then uh, he has to, I guess, battle his way through the Arctic, or? Against wolves. Uh, uh, yes, and he has the beer bottle thing. Yeah, beer bottle weapons, that I mean, is so the, awesome. I mean, the guy knows what he's doing. Obviously, he's learned from the people he meet. He, he meets up with some people. I think they were already on the plane. Maybe they, okay, maybe they were already on the plane. I don't think he learned anything. I think he ate them and moved on. Oh, cannibalism. I always love a movie with cannibalism. I don't think there's going to be cannibalism. I think <laughs> they they just all die. And they just all die? I assume he's the last man standing. I, well, I think that's a good assumption, because considering it's just his face on the poster. Yeah. And the trailer thing. You know, it's just the, the gray. But it looks, it looks like I, I would actually maybe see it. It looks cool. It does look like a good movie. I'm down for seeing it, but come on, The Edge. Anthony Hopkins, did we all miss this one? We've seen this movie before. Not that every movie has to be original, and I, I truly believe every 10 years there should be another Man Survives against the Wilderness movies. Yeah, okay. It's true. There needs to have movies like that. Yeah. So I'm, I'm all there about the certain, formula. But obviously if there are formulas, as said, there's going to be formulas that you repeat. Yeah. Certain movies you just don't remake, obviously. Like, no one's going to try to remake Die Hard. Because yeah. that would just be stupid. That would be. Because you, unless you have Bruce Willis 2, like if someone clones him, I mean, it's just going to... Or Alan Rickman 2, I mean, it's just going to be unbearable <laughs> to watch. But I think, you know, yeah, you're right. Every now and then you're going to redo the same thing. But it's fine, you know. I think, I think Liam Neeson's going to do a fantastic job. Uh, it was, I will say, it was really cool seeing him have those knuckles. It was awesome, even if, like, I don't know if his character discovers that, because if his character discovers that, I would actually find that cool. I, first of all, let's, let's lay off the genius of this, because it's not exactly, like, it's not rocket science. It's not science. a sophisticated no, but that, you know, that's mechanism the, but for that's killing. What, but that's what's good that it, is, it isn't sophisticated, but at least it's a system. 
it's just cool. Like, you yeah, know. Yeah, it's cool. Like, I would wear, I mean, I would wear that for as a Halloween costume. I'd have knuckles like that. Yeah, like my drunk uncle, my drunk uncle showed me this when I was a kid. Like, yeah. That's I mean, it's what obviously it not brass knuckles, but you know, it's good enough. But, so yeah, the gray coming out soon. Um, Liam Neeson gonna be awesome. Crazy all time. <laughs>